crazy. Yo, so depending on when you're watching this, KB24, bro. Yeah. KB24. For those of you who don't know what that is, which is two of you in the whole wide world. Yeah. Uh, Kobe, um, apparently the reports are that he was on his way to his daughter's basketball game. Now that they're getting more clear. Um, with another parent and another player, um, and their p- helicopter went down. You know, now you're gonna start seeing the videos. George was just showing me a video now. Yeah. Man, uh, I'm a basketball fan, uh, and I think most of my life, even I, I started watching basketball in Honduras. You know, I'm a Patriots fan, but football started watching it mostly here when I first got here. But basketball in Honduras, and it was Kobe, man. Kobe back in the days, like Kobe. Rick Fox, Kobe, Gary Payne, Kobe be like I talk about Shaq and Kobe, like Paul Gasol and Kobe, Andrew Bynum and Kobe, like Kobe twenty four, Bean Brian number eight, you know, like, like oh man, uh, but Kobe, the thing about that for me at least specifically me was most impressive about Kobe was not even his basketball accolades, like it was the whole Mamba mentality, mm-hmm. you know, like you'll you'll probably see that video and I was watching that that HBO interview with him and my, my Barnes and uh, Stephen Jackson. You know how my Barnes and Stephen Jackson have a podcast together? No, I didn't know. Okay, that. check it out. Okay. And then I'll wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. um, some uh, Matt Barnes with uh, something about smoking. Stephen Jackson, like that, right? Uh, it's, it's about it's technically basketball, I guess, because you know both of them were former called? players. What's it called? Um, it's it's on HBO, but you can watch it on YouTube, right? Okay, I thought the title was something about like I know Matt so, Barnes. Something about smoke, uh, maybe, smoker. maybe I don't remember the title, but whatever. So I was uh, interesting enough on Friday, right? Uh. I was watching the, the Kobe one, mm-hmm. and it was a refresher because if you guys keep up with ball and keep up with the Lakers, man, we've been sucking for the last couple of years. And Kobe had really just, you know, once he retired, he kind of just said he was done with basketball. Yeah. And he only came back because his daughter, Gianna, uh, started taking interest in it. Yeah. So he started coaching her team. He started really engaging back into the culture of basketball. Mm-hmm. Even this last couple of weeks, it became like that meme became famous, the one where he's talking to his daughter. And people would not would oh, quote yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, people would quote it. But yeah. it was at the basketball at the Lakers game. That had been the first Lakers game. He'd been there in years, I think. Yeah. So, you know, it was just like he was going back to, to basketball. But Kobe, for me, the mentality of Kobe, the Mamba mentality, yeah. was the most significant thing. Um, you know, even to this day, now my new favorite player, I was I was joking with people. I'm like, oh, the best player in the NBA is Russell Westbrook. Mm-hmm. But I always loved those players who had that killer mentality. You know, mm-hmm. like if you look at me, my favorite football player is Tom Brady. Mm-hmm. You know, he looks at you like a white boy, skinny white boy, slow as hell, yeah. but he'll kill you. On the, and every, every football player would say that's thing. Nobody competes like Tom, right? Yeah. Nobody competes like Kobe. And then in, in soccer is Cristiano Ronaldo. Nobody competes like Cristiano Ronaldo. Because to me, it's never been like uh, whether you have the odds stacked against you or not. It's the mindset you come in with. Yeah. And, and Kobe's mindset was always like, I'm going to be the greatest. I'm going to be the greatest. I'm going to be greater than Mike. I'm going to get at least six rings. And, and so it just feels crazy, man. Like uh, Kobe's the culture of LA is Kobe. Uh, the mm-hmm. culture of, of basketball is, is just like, man. There's Michael. You might fit LeBron in there, but LeBron's still not done. So it was like Michael and Kobe. Yeah, absolutely. Like absolutely. You, you look at the videos, man. Look at the montages when you put like Kobe's footwork, and you start seeing like it was just like the reflection of Michael. It was, he was our Michael, you know. Yeah. I, I love Mike, but I was a kid. I was a kid yeah. when he was balling. Like I, I didn't, mean, you weren't even born when yeah. he won his first ring. His first three. So rings, like you know what I'm saying? Like it's not the same for me. Kobe was my dude. Like I yeah. saw Kobe grow up, uh, and so it was. It's like the culture. And then the whole idea of he's like, oh, you know, legends never die. So yeah. I I know that Kobe hasn't died, but even so, he also transitioned so perfectly to whatever else he was doing. He he won an Oscar, uh, uh, a Grammy, no, no, an Grammy, Oscar, an, an Emmy? Oscar, an Emmy, an Emmy. I think. Yeah, but he's also got Oscar film. nominated for the short film too. For sure. And film. so like this dude, um, he transitioned to other things, other passions, and and still had the same mentality, which is what most like impacts me is that's yeah. that that mindset you have you know we always talk about this like mm-hmm. if you say you're so forth towards certain goals yeah. there's no limitations yeah so man um prayers up to him to his family yeah for sure it's crazy uh, life is short bro very yeah very um you know when when i when i heard it today right like, and i called all you guys i was thinking like damn uh you know we say like when somebody passes away we say life is short I tend to disagree to 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 a, to a degree because uh, we say life is short in comparison, right? Like to yeah, yeah. To get, like you know, like when somebody dies at like eighty years old, ninety years old, seventy years old, it's almost like eh, you know, like you it, saw it, it was like they lived their life, they lived their right, life. It was about that yeah. time, right? And then when somebody dies, like you know, in their forties and their thirties, yeah. we're like, yo, what the fuck, you know? But uh, again, like I always say, it's about perspective. Mm-hmm. Like you know, what I mean. If we're talking about like back in the day, like in Western times, right? Yeah. Like people died like no, no, everybody was well, well in like yeah. real quick. You get me? So I mean, um. 
life is short to a degree. You know, life yeah, is short yeah, for yeah. his, you know, if, if it's true or not, for his 13 year old daughter. That's like very, like, she, I don't want to say she missed on experiences. You know, I don't know their life. I don't, you know, and I don't want to talk yeah, on, you know, something I don't know. But to a degree, you know, you could say that, man, like, there is a lot to have looked forward to, a lot of development to have looked of forward course. to. You get me? Uh, I'm sure that, you know, Kobe lived, uh, a fulfilled yeah. life to a degree. Yeah, yeah he mean, accomplished I mean, a lot. You know, he saw a lot. He exactly. did a lot. You know, so it's just tragic how it happened. You get me? It's like, damn, I had, like, you know, if, if Kobe would have passed away from, like, cancer, you get me? From, yeah. like, some type of, like, oh, man. That you could have seen it coming. Yeah, you know, it's like, damn. But, you know, when, whenever someone's taken away uh, like this, like, out of nowhere, you know, people are in shock. But I was just having this conversation uh, yesterday with, with, uh, with my boy, and we're talking, I was like, bro, the only thing in this life that's guaranteed is death. For you know, sure. we, we talk yeah. de- death and taxes as a joke, right? But, you know, like, it's, like, I think that we, like, and I said this before, like, yo, we need to start paying attention more to death than anything. We need yeah. to talk about it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? We yeah. need to, like, Embrace think it. about that yeah. shit because th- that shit could literally happen at any yeah. moment. You but I, mean? I think, I mean, at least in, in the Kobe's thing, and not to cut you off, mm-hmm. but what what's crazy to me is I was sitting down yesterday and we were watching the Lakers game. Yeah. Lakers were playing the Sixers. And LeBron just passed Kobe as a number. I was telling you this today yeah. on the phone when he called me. As number three in the NBA all-time scoring list, and Kobe tweeted out, you know, so it was like Kobe was like, "Congrats, you know, you got so much more to do." Like yeah. this is it. the story just being written right now, and, and it just doesn't hit you that today he's gone, right. you know, like, yeah. uh, and that's the whole like the whole idea of you know, if you know how brief your life is, you'll be wiser with your decisions. But you also don't know when it's coming to anybody. Like, you know, what someone who has cancer can live 20 more years and you can just die because you choked on, I don't know, some vegetable or yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. some stupid death or whatever it's called. But the idea is is life is definitely... And I don't mean that as a... I mean that it's like we're never going to have enough life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you're going to have died at 80 and you can still be like, yo... I, I wish I had 20 more years. Right, right. right? Yeah, like, we're, we're, not, we're, not, we're not ready. We're not, Most like, people are not ready. I, I don't think, yeah, I, I think uh, there's a part of us that would, oh, would never understand, like, man, is this really it? Like, yeah. is this all I have? And, you know, like, I guess to get to the spiritual part of that, though, that, that that's the kind of thing, you know, like, when you think about faith, is like, you, you garner this, like, this thought of, like, like, okay, yeah, there is something after this life, right? But that's just a leap of faith. You don't know. Yeah, you're you know, until like, you're there. Exactly. Like, you know, as humans, we long that that need to know shit. You yeah. mean? Like, we want to know, like, yo, what comes after this? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? What happens after this? Give me some security. I mean? Exactly. Like, I mean, yeah. look, you, you think about it. Like, not too many people take leaps of faith. And the people who, takes leap, who take leap of faith and accomplish something great right in in like that nobody yeah. could have possibly seen then you then you're glorified and then people take on the yeah, set, right? Yeah. Like for example um wh- whoever first started let's say like a podcast right and at first you know my, my new podcast has been around for, bro, since like 2009 i think or some sh- cra- crazy shit like that right and you start a podcast and then out of nowhere you know you make something that like yo it started off from like whatever basement in your mom's house or like the biggest thing ever yeah i mean that's almost like a leap of faith right yeah. like if you have a yeah because you didn't know where it was gonna end exactly so when you talk about that that regard of spirituality is like you have faith that there's something else the mm-hmm. problem is that because you don't know there's that little bit of fear and there's no, and, and no one's really coming back to tell you exactly <laughs> and that's exactly why i think yeah. that we're so afraid of death because like you really don't know like if mm-hmm. if you knew for a fact like okay after this there's there's more like there because time exists here you know like with us with humans like time does not exist somewhere else yeah. and your spirit leaves somewhere else and you might have a whole different outlook on life yeah. you get what i'm saying like yeah, yeah. we're so small in this universe mm-hmm. and we're so little but yeah, we think we're the shit. Yeah, yeah I mean, we think we're the center of it all. We're you know in the I mean? rat race. We're just running. Exactly. And, and th- th- again, that that's just my point of like, yo, we need to pay attention to death because that shit is coming for everybody. You get me? Yeah. And I don't, you know, in the Bible it says it, right? Like if you want to go to the Bible, it's like there's a time to party, there's yeah. a time to mourn, there's a time. Like it tells you, you get me? Like, yo, you're going to go through that shit no matter mm-hmm. what. Like, even if you're expecting somebody yeah, to die and they yeah. pass away, you are going to mourn that. It's like, still going to hurt. Exactly. It's going to hurt. So it, there is no way around it. But it's something to definitely pay attention to. You get me? Because that shit can literally... Like, yo, it can literally happen at any moment. Like, we say that shit so passive. Like, oh, it's a cliche. Until like, it happens and then it shocks you because you're like, damn, it actually happened. It could happen. Any, yeah. Exactly. Like, it really could happen yeah. any moment. So, uh, it's Yeah, man. Sad, it's um, crazy. And, and, I'm, and I'm getting time, a bunch man. of people just telling me, like, yo, I thought of you. I yeah. thought of you. Because people I grew up with high school, I hadn't talked to you in years. Yeah. We're like, I thought of you. Because... Uh, I, I'm telling you, bro, Kobe, man, a lot. Like, yeah. more than the basketball, to me, I was just like, yo, this dude was a killer. Plus, he spoke like seven, like, he spoke Italian. He spoke a bunch of yeah, different yeah. things. You know, like, the culture of what Kobe created in L.A., yeah. you know, um, 
You can you can look up the the murals all over LA yeah. of Kobe Bryant. Like yeah. it, it's it's just a cultural thing, and that uh, it kind of gives us a, the sense of like you know, uh, it's so much more important to live towards the death yeah. than towards you know being recognized the now. For sure, you know that the marathon continues, right? Yeah, with that, lips, yeah, yeah. So it's like man, we got a lot to run forward to. I for think for sure, for yeah. sure. I mean, you know, in in uh in in any tragedy and any pain. Uh, Dame was just saying this in the Breakfast Club, which is like enlightening too. Is um, you you, it's to learn from it mm-hmm. and grow from it. You get me? Like whenever there is like obstacles, you know, I think us as people, like we look at obstacles and we look at like these these bad things that may be happening in your life, whatever the fuck it may be, and we look and we go to a dark place a lot of yeah, times. Yeah. You get me? Like we we let that that pain take us to a dark place, mm-hmm. and we shouldn't do that. You get me? Like we sh- we should look at it as like, okay, you know what? I need to go through this because somebody else needs to learn from this. Because mm-hmm. when I make it through, somebody else is gonna be like, "Shit, I can make it through too." You get me? Like, if I hope. Exactly. That, and that's 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 all it is. Like, you know, we, we have our purposes here on earth. Whatever your purpose, mm-hmm. you know, you may feel like it is, and we kind of just transcend through those purposes. You know, throughout life, if we choose to follow yeah. them. You get me? A lot of times we don't. You get me? A lot of times mm-hmm. we work nine to fives that we hate for the rest of our lives and die. You get me? Some people does do do shit. Some people never find their purpose. You get me? But the people who do, you transcend um, and you evolve through that purpose. You get me? Mm-hmm. And it becomes something else that you teach somebody. So I think that, you know, when things like this happen, uh, I'm not talking about Kobe Bryant, the player. I'm talking about Kobe Bryant, the human yeah. being, mm-hmm. because he is a legend, like right. He and you know, there's a lot of fans that are crying, mm-hmm. but like one of the things that clicked on me is like, yo, his what his family's Nobody's gonna go through, yeah. what his mm-hmm. daughter is gonna yep. go through. Like, if it's true that he lost his daughter in that, it's like, bro, that's that's a killer. You yeah, I mean, like to lose two, mm-hmm. like just just his family alone. You yeah, I mean, like imagine the sisters that like, yeah, I lost yeah. my dad and my sister. Why is like I lost my daughter, and my husband? It's it, it's you, you and, and, and their baby will never really get to know their dad. Exactly, because you know yeah. they had a recently newborn. And yeah. yeah, that's right. So they have three kids, right? And you know, so it, it you do have to learn. The thing is, re- realistically, is like us, we don't ponder on things too enough, like on things that matter. Yeah. Enough. We ponder on the shit that doesn't matter. Because for example, something like this that like, you're supposed to take. Like you're supposed to take it in and be like, yeah, man. Like you know, let me, let me try to change some things yeah. up. Let me wake up. We yeah. don't. Let me, let me sit on it. Let me yeah. meditate on this. Because to be honest with you, like, look, what's gonna happen is, in media form, we're gonna forget about this in a week or so, and it's gonna continue on. You get me? Like, you're gonna see memes. You're gonna see this. You're gonna see that. But it's gonna fade off just like it did with Michael Jackson. Just like it did with Nipsey Hussle, et cetera, et cetera. You get me? Like, it, it, it's gonna it's gonna fade mm-hmm. off for certain people. That pain is gonna remain. Like the people who are like really closest there, to the situation. Exactly, for that sure. pain will remain for a very very long time or for a lifetime. Uh, they're gonna have to keep living with it. Exactly. Yeah. You know. So, like like I said, man, for anyone listening or for anybody who even pays close attention, yo, take this shit serious because it's real. Like mm-hmm. like yo, you could really die any moment. Don't think that you're in indestructible, invisible. Like. Like, shit is real, you get me? So, like, all the shit, the 99% of the shit that we worry about really doesn't matter, you get me? Like, the things that we worry about, like, oh, we gotta p- pay this bill, we gotta do this, and we gotta do that, like, yo, shit like that does not fucking matter, like, at, at the end of the day, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if if the, like, the most worrisome thing in your mind is something about money, you need to find something else to worry about, you get me? Because mm-hmm. money comes and goes, that shit's gonna pass, you get me? Like, like so, I don't know, man. Um... This shit is kind of dark in the sense of yeah. like, fuck, you know, like it's Kobe and uh, people looking at it as mm. like, yo, I'm a fan of Kobe Bryant. Yeah. I don't know, but let's see if some people uh, learn something from it because I don't know what you can learn from this. Like most people are just gonna be like, damn, he just died. Like I don't, yeah. I don't think people are gonna look deep no, into yeah. like, yo, you really could. You know what I mean, like that. Yeah, I, I mean the the hope, the encouragement would be that we we all sit and just reflect and be like, all right, man, there's somebody I need to make up with. Mm-hmm. Like there's some relationship I need to correct. Mm-hmm. Because you don't know when you go, and the last thing would be like, I wish I would have, I wish I could have, I wish I did it, but I didn't, and and so living with that pain, living with that regret, like you know, just go out, text somebody, call somebody, tell them you love them, you care for them, go invite somebody to dinner, be kind to somebody, because at the end, that's just gonna matter, man. Like uh, we talk about this all the time. I think people matter more than the things we do, yeah. uh, and. Um, you know, no one will remember what you did for them, but they remember how you made them feel. Exactly. So go out and, and make a difference by being a light to other people. Mm-hmm. That would be the hope yeah. of any situation where it's dark, is that the light can shine through and that there's hope that we can grow out of this. You know, whether it's a tragedy, whether it's, uh, you know, natural risk disaster, whether it's death, we just got to hope that, that some some kind of 
transcendental, transcendental light can come out of this yeah. and shift our, our perspective.